Blood, Season 6, Episode 5 was called Fuck the Pain Away. You know, I never tried to do that, but you know, now that True Blood suggested, I just might. <laughs> So, I heard a lot of different things about episode 5 this season, and I honestly can say I love this entire episode. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. We're going to wrap up some stuff that just wasn't important. Number one, Terry fucking Bell Fleur. Okay, Terry, now you want to kill yourself? You want to hire somebody to take you out? You should die. He got his old Marine friend at Merlot. He like, I just want to pay you to kill me. He tell his friend, he killed Patrick. His friend is like, I'm going to do it for free. Like, I was just so over that. I'm not understanding where this storyline is going. They bring in Patrick's wife. I mean, where are you going, bruh? The very next storyline, we're going to wrap it on up. Um, this whole Emma trying to find her kidnapping situation. I'm really not understanding why Alcide is so concerned with Emma. What is it about Emma? Just because she a wolf? I mean, come on, LC. Like, I don't know if this... He can't be on B. This is still not B. Al, LC must be power tripping. I don't know what is his problem. He pack master. I mean, LC was just so anti-pack. Now he just... He's fucking getting on my nerves. And with wrapping that scene up, you see Nicole and Sam, you know, they waking up feeling crunchy, brunchy because they didn't have sex on the first night. And she go to call her parents and he's like, no. I mean, I was just so over it. But we do see Alcee's dad see them at the hotel. I mean, I wonder if he's going to call Alcee to be like, hey, you know, I mean, I'm not even part of your pack, but they over here going to come get them. Another scene that we're going to wrap it on up now. I'm not wrapping it up because I didn't like it. I'm wrapping it up because it was very short but it was very sad y'all Andy finding his daughters oh my god okay now he took that one home gave her some B you know he went in his old stash he had to stop himself he, he was like whoo let me just give it to her y'all know Andy was on B so he gives it to her she ends up telling him the story about what they were doing and he wants to go over there and get Bill like fuck this you know he killed my kids man these were my kids and Holly's like, you know, he'll just kill you. And just that hurt to see how he felt like he couldn't do anything to the person that murdered his kids. Now, here we go. Here, I'm not trying to go here on y'all. But look how Andy felt. I just, y'all, I just, I was Trayvon Martin and I just felt so sad. Like, I felt like that scene was just so out of place right now with the Trayvon Martin stuff going on. I was like, really? Oh, my gosh. I am going to hope that the other three girls something miraculous happens and they're not dead. Another thing I want to know, what do y'all think this fairy girl is going to be now? I mean, she's alive, she knows about vampires, she thinks she's going to actually get a name, and what is going to be her role now in True Blood? Another scene we're just going to go ahead and wrap up, Miss Sarah Newland, girl, I'm so over you. Reason being, you are just a slut, smut, piece of trash. I mean, you first want the governor to unwrap you when a girl shows up in black lingerie. You unwrap her. He's clearly over you. You show up to Jason's house. And I love how Jason was like, you know, what you doing here? You know what I'm saying? And she's like, you know, well, you know, do you forgive me and all this other kind of stuff? And Jason was like, you know, well, you always seem like a nice lady behind all the crazy and hate. Loved it. Her smut slut ass it was a quotable line. I loved it when she was like, I really feel like God wants me to fuck you. Really? In keeping with that scene, Lord Jesus, that scene, uh, after they do, they do, you know, Jessica comes pounding at the door. She's still hyped up on fairy blood. Y'all, Jessica is in, she back in, she back on my shit list. She's back on my shit list. Y'all know I couldn't stand Jessica back in the day. Now I can't stand her ass all over again. She done killed them fairy girls. Now she high on their blood. She going crazy. She showing up at Jason's house. He invite her in. All this other kind of shit. They talking back and forth. And again, right then and there, they bring up Hoyt. And I freaking miss Hoyt. So Sarah asked, come out like, oh, you've been having relations with the vampire. He go to crazy, y'all. He go to crazy. And just as Jessica is about to attack her ass, you know, I'm not even understanding why she paused, girl. You should have just ate her up. Again, the LVAFT, whatever they is, they come swoop that ass and take us to the camp. I loved how she told Jason, my body is a temple and you have defiled it with your vampire loving pecker. Really, Sarah? He defiled it? Him? 
So we have to Pam. I love Pam this whole freaking episode. We have to Pam. She's at the camp or whatever, and they're kind of like they're taking, giving her a tour. I mean, I don't know if it's because the level she was on, you know, she's like a level one or whatever. But, you know, she's walking around. You see a vampire getting his fangs taken. You see another one on a little treadmill running fast, fast, fast. Then you see the ones having sex. Lord Jesus. And then they take Pam to a therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist, I don't know what the hell he was. And she is all like, you know, what if I don't want to talk? You know how Pam is. And he's like, you know, when the last time you ate? And she's like, you know, it's been a while, so I answer your question. <laughs> she lay back on the couch. She's like, hold the fuck up. Am I in therapy? Like, that was the best. I freaking love Pam. I also loved how she told him, you know, he asked her, well, what kind of value do you place on my life? And she was like, your life? I care more about that tuna you smell like than your life. Yes, Pam. And then they asked her about Eric Northman being her maker and, you know, how she feels about him. Now, y'all cannot say I didn't call this. I, I've been saying it. Eric was going to treat Pam wrong to the point where she was going to turn on him. And she basically says, my maker freed me. He's kind of dead to me kind of thing. Whatever she said, I was like, oh shit, here we go. We're going to hop to Suki in her white panties and bra. Y'all know how she do. And she got her little fairy light. You know, she thinks she getting it. Warlow, I'm tired of y'all coming out here thinking y'all can feed on me. You know, she having one of her fits as she always does. Right before she end up falling in fucking love with somebody. She like hit Warlow with the ball. And then we see how Bill feels that hit. And I'm like, the fuck going on? So Bill shows up to Suki's. And Suki's like, ugh. You coming to save me now, are you? And y'all, Bill kind of gave her the, bitch, I told you you was dead to me. Warlo, hey, bruh, as your maker, bring it. Whose mouth was on the floor? Mine was like, what the fuck? That shit shocked the hell out of me. I don't know if this is Bill again. I'm back at that. <laughs> I don't know if this is Bill, if this is Lilith, if this is Billy. I don't know who this is. Bill can't command Warlow, who is way older than him, to come with him. He cannot do that. But Lilith ass can. So, sticking with that, okay, we're gonna, this is very interesting to me, y'all. This is where my thinking cap goes on, okay? So, we get to see how Warlow was made. We see him at, back in the day, 3500 BC. He with his family. He at the lake. You know, Lilith come up, her and her bush. You know, and just out of nowhere, I think she kind of raped him, y'all. It was kind of strange. I guess she made him a vampire. We see that part, right? But then we know that he killed Lilith, right? Thinking caps, putting your thinking caps. So if he killed Lilith because he's a vampire that walks in the day, okay, we see this, and you know, he burned her alive. How the hell we get a vial of her blood? Like, where did she put that at? Did Lilith know? I mean, I guess because she could see in the future, she knew Warlow was going to kill her. So she preserved the vial of her blood, y'all. I don't know. Shit is just really strange right now. And, you know, my thinking cap should have been on knowing damn well them little fairy girls was not going to make Bill walk in that light. But when I seen Warlow ass on the side of that road and I was saying it must be a vampire that could walk in the day, look at my old videos, that's how Bill was going to walk in that light. Y'all, I should have put it together. So, we're going to change Eric's name this episode to from Eric fucking Northman to Eric dumbass fucking Northman. I mean, him and Tara meet back up at the spot or whatever, and she tells him, you know, Pam been taken to that camp. She got on the paddy wagon. Eric's bright idea of all the ideas that he had, I guess he thought his uh, Willow idea worked out, which that was a fucking fail. They surrendered themselves to the camp. I mean, anybody else trying to figure out how this is supposed to save Pam from the camp? Anybody? Anybody got an idea? Somebody tell me something in the comments. To get yourself captured at the camp. I mean, you already know what they're doing at this camp, Eric Northman. Willow told you what they're doing at this camp, Eric Northman. Eric, dumbass fucking Northman. And you still go get captured? We see Eric, you know, he go in this little room with these four exes and the rest of the vampires and they drop these little balls. And he's like, well, shit, let me pick it up, you know? It is what it is. And we see if you don't pick up the ball, your ass gets shot. I 
honestly did not understand that whole game they were playing with them, but we all knew Eric was going to win. I love how Eric walked up into the general population. That shit was so funny. With his one on his damn um, fucking jailhouse scrubs. And he's like, has anyone seen Pam? And everybody like, what you talking about Pam for? Do we look like we seen Pam? We are jailed. We are locked up. Chill out. Moving on forward, we see they bring Eric North, and I'm like, oh, Lord, he go another test, but we know Eric going to be all right, right? So then we see the governor, and can I just say, y'all, Steve Newland is, ugh, how does he, like, ass-kiss his way to be some powerful person's pansy all the time? He, and, of course, the governor's all like, Mr. Northman, my daughter came home. You wouldn't know anything about that now, would ya? I freaking love how Eric was like, ugh, um... Fuck you. And then we see them opening up a little slide door, you know, and Eric go get the steak. Like, okay, I'm ready for y'all. What's up? In walks Pam. Oh, shit. Let's bring it back on a little sucky sucky. So, sucky goes to see Lafayette. I love how Lafayette told her, oh, hey, sugar boo. What you doing here at work? Because I know it ain't to do no work. Sucky begins to spill out her heart again. You know, every time she goes off on the vampire and she cuss them out and you don't care about me and I'm tired of you vampire. She ended up falling in love with him. It's just Sookie, y'all. Kind of believes Warlow when he says that he loves her. Y'all know Lafayette's a medium and I don't know if that little scary face that freaks me out every time is still in him, but we still know he's a medium. Start summoning people. He like, y'all shut up. Shh, be quiet. Not your turn. Y'all, that was so funny. Sookie's parents, you know, come in. He like, stack houses? Calm down. Sookie, you know, she grabs Lafayette and she sees what happened. She sees how Warlow came to her parents when she was a kid and was like, you know, y'all uncle whoever promised Sookie to me, so, you know, we need, give up, give on up and, you know, you won't have no problems. And Sookie's parents like, get the fuck out of our house. No, bye. See you later. You can't have her. I liked kind of seeing Warlow like that. Now, here's my thing. Where is the Warlow we seen with the long beard and the black cap and the, you know, the whole Undertaker uniform? Where he at? We see his motive. You know, he is the only person like him. And he just wants to make another fairy vampire. That's all he wants to do. He wants to have a family. He wants to, you know, make a species like him. Then we see Sookie's parents take her in the back of the car to daddy like, look, I ain't having this. It ain't going down. They ain't turning my baby into no freak shit. So they were going to kill Sookie. Now here's my problem. Sookie's dumbass. You don't even know Warlow. And she like, you guys didn't love me. You wanted to kill me. Like really Sookie? They were not. Come on now. Come on now. Who parents wouldn't stop them from harm's way? You are in harm's way, dumb ass. Yo, I understand it was a little harsh. It was a little extreme. Your daddy probably shouldn't have tried to drown you. But damn, he it was out of love. It was like Suki just don't be thinking. She like, you didn't love me. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. So then Suki's daddy takes over Lafayette. Y'all, when he started walking with her out that house like he was walking with her all them years ago. I could not help but laugh. That shit was hilarious. Then we see him take her ass to the lake like this is for your own good. It's time to die. Ain't nobody getting my baby. The end, y'all. Yes. Yes for episode five. Yes, I loved it. I'm ready for episode six, y'all. Okay. So, we see Pam and Eric about to get it in. She realized he made another vampire. That's all in the previews. If you ain't watch the previews, I can't help it. I ain't trying to spoil, but we see, you know, they about to go at it. And then we see Eric looking through the glass like, hey, Steve Newland. So, like, we all know Pam can't kill Eric. That's just a fact about it. She knows she can't kill Eric Northman. That's your maker. He's stronger than you. So, I wonder, did he, like, throw that through the glass and, like, puncture somebody? That's why we see the blood or did he kill Pam y'all I don't know we're gonna see y'all let me know what y'all thought below sorry I'm late I had my family reunion this weekend but as always I'll see y'all in a week